Right now, I'm going to prove to you that the fires in Paradise, California, the fires in Quebec, Ontario, Canada, and the fires in Maui and Hawaii are all man-made due to directed energy weapons. I am going to prove it to you beyond a reasonable doubt and to a moral certainty with things that normal people or everyday people who are not technically inclined in a certain technical field, namely electronics and ham radio, and I did some work with lasers back in the day. If you are not familiar with those three technologies, or at least one of them, this whole thing will blow right over your head. Now I'm going to start with the trees burning from the inside in Paradise, California. Normally, this type of shit doesn't happen. A tree does not catch fire from the inside and burn to the outside. It catches fire from the outside and burns to the inside. Also, it's very unusual for a house to burn and a tree right next to it doesn't even get scorched. How does that happen? Well, I'm going to have to prove it to you. And in order for you to accept what I'm going to tell you as absolute empirical fact, you're going to have some, some homework to do, and I will leave the links down in the description. These fires were undoubtedly set by what is called microwave amplification through st stimulated emission of radiation, or MASER. You have laser, which is a laser, a normal laser like you use to play with your cat with, which stands for light amplification through stimulated emission of radiation. Well, a maser is the same as a laser, only it uses microwaves. High frequency, very high frequency, ultra high frequency microwaves like you have in your microwave oven. And if you want to see for yourself how a tree can burn from the inside, here's a little experiment that you can do. And it's a totally safe experiment. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt you. Take a shot glass, a little shot glass, put it in your microwave in this, right in the center. With a thing, if you have one of those things that turns, put it right in the center and take one grape and put it on top of the shot glass. Close the door and hit start. That thing will glow like a neon bulb and it will catch fire from the inside out because the microwaves conduct inside the grape because it's wet, it's moist. Same as a tree. Tree bark is an insulator. It doesn't conduct electricity. It's not a conductor. But the sap inside the tree certainly is. So when you point microwaves, high frequency, high powered microwaves at a tree, what it's going to do is it's going to cause what they call eddy currents, E-D-D-Y, eddy currents to flow in the sap. And the more power you put it in, the hotter the sap will get. Same like in a microwave. You put something in a microwave and it literally cooks from the inside out. So you point a microwave weapon at a tree and the tree is going to catch fire from the inside out, from where it's wettest, from where the current can flow more freely than in the bark, which is not a good conductor. And the tree catches fire from the inside out. Also, in California, we had pictures of cars whose aluminum wheels melted. How does that happen? How does an aluminum wheel melt in a forest fire? Well, it can't. 
because fires fires don't get hot enough to melt aluminum. Just as jet fuel doesn't burn hot enough to melt beams in a steel structured building such as the World Trade Center. Something has to be an explanation for all of this. World Trade Center was a controlled demolition, without a doubt. Anybody who believes that planes can go through a building and burn a steel structured building down and collapse three buildings, World Trade Center 1, World Trade Center 2, and Building 7. If you can believe that a plane that hit the two buildings could cause three buildings to fall down and fall down perfectly into their own footprint from burning jet fuel, you need to stop smoking that shit and get on to some fucking reality. Because that shit does not happen. Trees do not start burning from the inside out. I don't care how much wind is blowing. So this, and it's not my opinion, do the research. I'll leave the links in the description for the articles that I'm going to show you. Look up eddy currents and microwave amplification through stimulated emission of radiation. These are directed energy weapons. And if you, as a person, as a living being, get hit by one of these maser concentrations, you will just vaporize. Your body will explode because your blood and the fluids in your body are 95% water will just and you'll just be a, an explosion of meat. And before anybody can find you, the dogs, the cats, the birds, the vultures will eat you. 9-11, the Paradise Fires, the fires in Quebec, and now the fires in Maui, are directed energy weapon incidents, beyond any doubt whatsoever. And because they are absolutely, positively, without a shadow of a doubt, caused by directed energy weapons, we can know who is behind it. Because who has control of directed energy weapons? The Pentagon, the military, and the deep state. And if we don't want to see any more of this shit, we have to put an end to it right now. We have to dissolve the United States government. We have to throw everybody out. Fire everybody. Everybody out. And those people who are behind this type of shit need to be taken out and shot as traitors. As non-uniformed enemy combatants. This has gone on way too long. And they've taken advantage of public ignorance of these types of things for far too long. I have a duty as an American citizen, as former military, to inform you people exactly what is going on here. These are directed energy weapons without any doubt whatsoever. You got that? And your failure to believe it doesn't make it any less true. Your failure to believe it invites more of the same. This shit was not caused by a hurricane. This was lit on fire on purpose. Because for some reason, they want the island of Maui. The same reason that they wanted Paradise, California, because of all the gold that's in the ground that was not profitable to dig up when gold was $30 an ounce, but now that gold's up near $2,000 an ounce, a little thing of gold is worth a lot of money. And that cannot only be the only reason. 
That cannot be the only reason because humanity is under assault. Not only this society, not only this country, humanity as a whole is being assaulted from every angle conceivable. And the people who are doing these assaults need to be taken out of society. They need to be executed for the crimes that they've committed. And there's no doubt at all. No doubt at all. The preponderance of evidence is overwhelming. I'm going to show you what eddy currents are. I'm going to draw a view on a map. And I will show it to you. And you do your own research. And you determine whether or not I'm blowing smoke up your ass or not. And if I'm not. Then you ask yourself a question. What am I going to do about it? Watch this. Okay, let's... Okay, now I'm going to show you on a piece of paper, drawing a little diagram and hopefully I'm no Rembrandt. I ain't paint the Sistine Chapel, but bear with me here. Let's say you have a tree. Okay. And a tree is a ground there, and the roots are going down like this, and the branches are coming out with all the flowers and all that good shit. Now, what happens? What happens is you got sap veins running from the roots up into the tree and out into the limbs. That's why when they tap for maple, they put a spike in the tree and it maple syrup drips out into a bucket that they hang there, okay? Because it's wet. And just like, you know, taking a knife and cutting your arm, if you poke something into the tree, the sap, which is liquid, very thick liquid, is going to drip out, okay? This sap, the moisture in the sap, is conductive to electri electricity to some extent versus the bark on the tree, which is an insulator, more or less. I mean, you could pump some more energy into it and get even that to burn. But what happens is when you point a microwave from space into this Things a very narrow beam of radiation. It's going to set up an eddy current, which is a current that flows in the sap, and the sap gets hot and expands, and it blows. And as as it expands, it blows a hole in the tree, like you've seen holes in the tree. There's a hole in the tree here. And the sap, which is on fire, shoots out of the hole. It's very simple. High energy, directed energy microwaves, which are not visible. The only way that microwaves would be visible in the air is if you have high humidity and it actually ionized the air molecules. But you wouldn't see that normally. Okay? Let's take another scenario. Let's say you got a house. Okay? Like I say, I'm not a I'm not an artist. What do you have in a house? You have 
a lot of metal. You have wiring that goes through from the fuse box and that connects to the transformers outside here okay and it goes from fuse box to every room in the house what carries the electricity wires wires are good conductors of electricity especially copper wires also what do you got you got plumbing you got plumbing coming from the water the water pipes and the water pipes goes to your bathroom and to your kitchen and to all the stuff. And if they're copper pipes or metal pipes, they're conductive. So what happens when you pump a high energy weapon and it direct that at this house? You got high frequency microwaves pumping at this house. What happens? What happens? Tell me what happens. I think you know already. The wires are going to glow red, white hot, and set your house on fire. It's an eddy current. An eddy current just means a current that flows in a loop. Take a, a 12 gauge or a 14 gauge wire and say it's that big around. Okay? Pump a directed energy whip and put some microwaves on this thing. And what are you going to have? You're going to have currents flowing inside the wire inside the wire heating up the wire and the wire gets that hot if the wire gets that hot it's going to light your house on fire now in california when they had the when they had the paradise fires what happened after the fires died down what happened over there i'll tell you what happened over there you got a road. Okay. Oh, wrong color. But anyway, you got a road. And you got a culvert with water, you know, pipes. A pipe over here. And a pipe over there. To, so the water can run under the road. So what's in this pipe? Usually they're cement pipes. And they have, what do they have in them? When they make concrete pipes, they got rebar in them. They were seen digging up the rebar, digging up the road and pulling these pipes out and replacing the pipes that went under the road for the culverts under the road. Why? Why would you do that? I'll tell you why. Because if anybody dug this thing up in the future and broke that concrete, they would find that the bars of fucking rebar were melted. What melts rebar under the road in a concrete pipe? Directed energy weapons that can induce a high current in these iron rebars and make them melt. It doesn't take a fucking rocket science to figure this shit out, folks. It doesn't. It doesn't take rocket science to figure it out. All it need, all you need to do is look up eddy currents and M A S E R, Maser, microwave amplification through stimulated emission of a, of radiation. You got a satellite in orbit with a ten million watt. Maser pointed at a house, poof, it's gone. It's gone. They're taking advantage of people's ignorance to pull this bullshit for forever. Because they're not teaching kids in school any of this science. They're not teaching kids in school any of this. What are they teaching the kids in school? They're teaching them how, how to use pronouns. They don't even know what the fuck a pronoun is. Ridiculous shit I ever heard in my life. 
I'm telling you, folks, if we don't put an end to this, and there's only one way to put it, you pulling that lever in a voting booth, fine. Go ahead and do that. But if you believe that pulling that lever does anything, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what you're all better off doing. Go into your toilet, take a nice healthy shit, and pull that lever. Because when you pull that fucking lever, the shit goes down the toilet. People in this government and in governments around the world have been installed. And they're making up these bullshit stories about the polls. Oh, he is ahead, and he's ahead, and that's ahead, and this is bullshit. Total fucking bullshit. You want change? Lock and load, because it's coming at you. Later. Yo. Holy fuck, it's really close. The moisture in the sap is conductive to electricity to some extent versus the bark on the tree, which is an insulator, more or less. I mean, you could pump some more energy into it and get even that to burn. But what happens is when you point a microwave from space, into this thing. It's a very narrow beam of radiation. It's going to set up an eddy current, which is a current that flows in the sap, and the sap gets hot and expands. And it blows, and as, as it expands, it blows a hole in the tree like you've seen. Holes in a tree there's a hole in the tree here, and the sap, which is on fire, shoots out. Did manage to get oh. to the Pukalani area where you are now. Um, what are the conditions like now in that area outside? Um, I mean, if you were here and weren't watching the news or didn't have social media, you'd have no idea it was um, so much devastation on the island. Um, it's you know just dark and. A little breezy. And when you made your way there yesterday, what was visibility like and the conditions like the whole way over? Um, so driving from Lahaina to Kihei, we initially went to Kihei to my, uh, my little sister's house. Um, she was put, putting us up, and then we had to evacuate Kihei. But the, the whole way there, we took a, a lower highway road, and it was uh, just all the power lines were down stop traffic to get around everything in order to uh to get out of there 